Switchblades.tv presents. Hey everybody, this is Deadpool. Uh, I'm here doing a review on the Valhalla Cutlery Mjolnir Balasong. Got this guy in uh, earlier tonight, had it for a couple hours. Done a little bit of uh, playing with it. So far, overall impression is uh, very impressed. This guy's got the sandwich style bronze handles. I requested this model specifically because it weighed in at about 7.6 ounces. It was the lightest model in the Mjolnir that JB had in stock. Overall very impressed with this. This guy's got Allen Harvey CPM S30V stainless steel blade in a, kind of a chisel grind which was a bit of a pleasant surprise. Haven't seen that yet in a song, so very impressed with it so far. Inside the handle here, we've got uh, titanium bushings. Moving down, we've got carbon fiber spacers and a titanium latch. It's all stainless hardware. I threw in some Loctite, and uh, I do that to all of my songs, regardless of their origins. As soon as I get them in, I throw a Loctite in there because I do a lot of flipping and it's a bad thing to have your ballast song come apart on you when you were doing some flipping. So I Loctite it regardless if it's custom or if it's production, they all get Loctite. This knife is very thick. Take a look at the handles here. You compare them to the blade and the handles are very thick, very beefy. Um, they fit very well in the hand though. When you're flipping it and you're moving it around, it is a lot to hold on to and performs very well so far. As a basis of comparison, I've got a couple of the usual suspects in the ballast on world. This guy here, everybody should know, Benchmade 42. This one's the uh, alloy model. It's got the aluminum handles. Um, taking a look at the handles here, you can see the difference. The Benchmade is very thin compared to the Valhalla. Another usual suspect here in the world is the Bradley Kimura. And looking at the handles again, quite a bit of a difference. The Mjolnir, from the little bit of flipping I have done, very smooth, fits the hand very well. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of tricks with it just because I'm waiting on that Loctite to settle in before I really get into it, but it uh, performs very nicely. So if you're looking at getting a piece from Roadside Imports, one of the Valhalla Cutlery pieces, I would highly recommend this. I was talking to JB and he said he's got a run of knives that he should be getting out here early next year. And I think everybody should look forward to getting those because with this piece that I've got here, I'm very impressed. I will be getting more knives from them in the future. Hopefully they can do another run of those titanium pieces like this. Um, very good knife. Customer service from uh, Roadside Imports was fantastic. JB picked this piece out again by hand. He got it to me very quickly. It got here on the day he said it would. And I'm nothing short of impressed. I look forward to getting another video out here of some flipping, a little bit more in-depth tricks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And anybody that was looking at getting this piece, I would highly recommend it. Uh, for a custom or semi-custom piece, it is fantastic. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope it was helpful for anybody who's looking at getting one of these. Available at assistedknife.com. Got questions? I got answers. Email me at jb at roadsideimports.com.